Well, welcome back, my friends, on this sunny central Florida morning. It's very crisp out here. It's 47 degrees. It feels absolutely wonderful. We don't get mornings like this very often, and when we do, they go away rather quickly, so I'm enjoying it while I can. I wouldn't normally wear a t-shirt out here in temperatures like this, but I am this morning. This is my Bay Area Beard Company shirt. More about them in a little bit here. But in the meantime, I do want to talk beards just for a few minutes. Uh, what are your beard goals? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what it is you're striving for. If you are shooting for anything beyond a close to the face, short beard, then this video is for you. If not, then it's not. Uh, if you want some length on your beard, uh, to any degree whatsoever, there are some important things to remember. You need to know what it is you want, and you need to make a plan for when it is you want to trim it. You, you can't be directionless, because if, if you are, then you're going to make some stupid mistakes, like I did, which is, what, which is why I'm making this video. I've, I've made some really bad decisions with my beard in the past, and I'm going to help you avoid that. I'm going to try to. Okay, so if you don't have a plan in place, uh, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to be driven by the need to look good all the time. Well, the part of the reason we grow a beard is because we want to change our look, right? It just makes sense. And the fact that the, our face is the first thing that people see uh, makes us want to look sharp. And so when, when you see stray hair sticking out or uh, the, the beard growing differently on one side of the face rather than on the other, your tendency is to want to fix it. But this presents a problem. It could, it could keep you from reaching your goal and you might end up just shaving your beard off altogether if you're really unhappy with it. So here's how to overcome that because I've, I've grown out big beards two other times and the first time I grew out a beard, a, a, a larger beard, I was picking up that trimmer I don't know if it was daily, but it was quite often. Anytime I saw a hair sticking out, you know, way out, comes off. Anytime I thought I saw a line that was just not right, you know, on the bottom or on the side, fix it. I, I didn't, I didn't regulate myself. I just, if I thought I saw a need, I filled it. And then I realized I was making some serious mistakes as, it, as my beard did get bigger. I could never get it symmetrical. I could never get it to where I wanted it. I, you know, I, I, I'd see pictures on Instagram. I say, I want a beard like that, but I, I knew I had the potential, but for some reason I wasn't reaching it. I didn't know it was because of my trimming. The second time, you know, after I had figured this out a little bit, uh, I, when I grew a beard out, I, I did let it go a little bit more, but my, the way I pulled back was I'm only going to trim my beard once a month. It's not a bad idea. At least you're going longer. That's, it's, a, it's better than what I was doing before. But when you start getting into, when you start getting into that area where you're growing out a beard like this right here, uh, you really need to let it go longer. Uh, because your, your beard grows differently at different stages. George Bruno really outlined this well in one of his videos uh, a few years ago when he had a big beard. He was talking about how uh, at, at different times your, your beard hairs will have a C shape. Okay? They'll have a C shape or they'll grow in a C shape. And then as it gets longer, it'll, it'll make an S shape you know, because it becomes more weighty and it starts to, you know, Pull, not pull down a little bit, but kind of lay out differently. And that's what you have to remember. As your, as your beard gets longer, it, it takes on more weight and it relaxes more. And so you need to do actually less trimming. What happens is if you, if you, start, if you start hacking away at it, it's going to become very lopsided. Now, the, the reason why I'm talking about this is because my beard is at that length that has been for about a month or so where it appears that this side of my beard, you may not be able to notice it today because it's not as visible every day or at the same times every day. 
but I, I've noticed that this side of my beard appears longer than this side of the beard over here. And I've noticed that in the past with past beards. And so I have to really fight the urge and you will too. You, you, I had have to really fight the urge to line it up and to make it correct, to make it all the same all the way across. But there's a problem with that. The problem is, is that when I started off on my journey, I knew that I had my beard trimmed exactly the same all the way around. And my beard was shorter. But I had it trimmed this exactly the same all the way around. So in my mind, I was thinking, well, why is it coming out longer here and shorter over here? Was it, was I, did I not trim it as well as I thought I did? Well, I no, I did trim it right. I did trim it well. But here's the catch. As your beard grows out, uh, it might one side might grow in a different direction than the other. So what this is doing over here is, is this is actually growing a little bit more out this way and kind of curling up a little bit while this one is tending to stay a little more straight. When I take a comb and I pick through it and I kind of stretch the hairs out, pull them out, they're exactly all the same length. But for right now, they're, it, they're just taking divergent paths. As the beard grows longer, it will even out. But if I start to cut away this side over here to make this even with the side right here, what's going to happen is over time, this side will fall down and relax and will be longer than this over here. You see the problem? So let it go. Another, another issue that comes uh, that crops up, and, and this, this wouldn't apply to everybody, but it would apply to aging men, men who are developing uh, salt and pepper beards, uh, any place where you have uh, white hairs growing in. For me, it's, it seems to be rather rapid right now, which I don't mind. I'm looking forward to the white beard. But uh, having different colors in different parts of your beard will make your beard appear longer or shorter, depending. And so this side of my face, the, the, I've always had more white hair. And in the past, I've had viewers comment and say, well, it looks like that side of your face, you know, directing me to this side, uh, is longer. You need to trim that up. No, no, it's, it's not actually longer. It just looks that way. It's a, kind of an optical illusion. That will make you want to trim it likewise. And I've done that because it's fooled even me. I've, I've taken the trimmers. And then when I got done, I realized, oh, wait a minute. It wasn't actually shorter. It was just the color. And then the trimming never stops. You just can't quit because there's always corrective measures to take. The thing is, what you have to do is you have to have a beard goal. Know where, know what you want your length to be. Pick a point, uh, you know, on your on your neck to which to where you want it to grow down, or on your chest, or wherever, whatever length you want, and let your beard grow past like, your goal point without trimming it. Okay, and then when it grows past that point, then you can allow yourself to trim it back. And then you still have to be ever so careful because once you trim your beard, your beard will react to that. It will start to, it might pop back up into a C shape. The hairs will, will, will revert back to a C shape or an S shape. And so that will change the way it lays now. So let it grow past your goal point trim it back just a little bit, but not even to where you think you want it. And just look at it for, for several days and see how it's going to respond. And then you know what you have and know whether you should take off any more or not. I'm saying all this because I've made, I've made the mistakes. And I, I know what it is to be increasingly frustrated with my own ineptitude at bear trimming. Now, I know a lot of you guys rely upon me for beard trimming advice. And I've got a lot of videos on beard trimming. Uh, I got a whole playlist you should check out. I'll put a, I'll put that at the end of the video, but th this is how I learned this stuff. I learned it by making all the mistakes. And so, well, I say all the mistakes, I'll probably still make more. And, and when I learn from them, I'll, I'll let you know. But that is my advice to you is is let the let it go put the trimmers down and there is i will say this there there's another there's something else that comes up that's kind of funny with beard trimming there is something about the whole tactile experience with a trimmer 
Um, it's fun. It's fun to play around with it and to see what you can do. It's, it's, it kind of brings out a creative, artistic side of yourself. And you just want to see what you can do. And, and it becomes quite addictive. And you have to fight that urge likewise. So keep that in mind. Just put them down. And d despite what people are trying to encourage you to do or what they might be saying to you, uh, keep these things in mind and it'll keep you from making the wrong move. Okay? So I hope that's helped. Leave a comment down below and um, make sure you like this video likewise and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already because it will, it will let you know when I have another upload. All right. All right. If you want to know what I have in my beard today, I am using well, Bay Area Beard Company's uh, beard oil right here. This is, these are beautifully packaged, by the way. Let me get that in there. Beautifully packaged. This is their indoor beard oil. Not indoor like as an in indoor versus outdoor. This is, indoor was a place in the Bible. Uh, if you know the story of the witch of indoor. But anyway, it, I won't get into all that. This is a fantastic uh, let me get this right here. I'm going to get this in the shot here. This is a fantastic beard oil. I absolutely love it. I would recommend using it. Bay Area Beard Company is out of Tampa, Florida. I happened to meet the owner while I was in Key West on vacation, and so is he, and um, either his wife or fiance, who, who I, I, I'm not sure what the status is there. It doesn't really matter, but I met them, and wonderful people, and uh, that's how I became associated with them, and so I've been using... Their beard oils. I'll leave you a link down below. If you use my code Greg, you can get 20% off. Let me tell you something about this. Not only is this very nice smelling, the scent is just wonderful, but my beard responds to their products differently than a lot of other people's. And it makes my beard feel light. It just, it's not heavy. And, my, and it's like the beard relaxes once I put this oil in. So I, I do highly recommend them. Check them out. Use the link in the code. And uh, yeah. If, oh, by the way, if you like this hat, this is one other, another one of my Docker caps I got from No Cap Company. After my last videos I made about these caps, I ordered five more. I like these so much. Uh, this is their landlord, one of the, in their landlord lineup. Um, they have, I think, like four or five different colors. So I think I have about three of them now. This is kind of their brown, sandy colored one. And it uh, feels great in the head, man. It looks great. Uh, if you want a quote of the day, I know I'm kind of just arbitrarily throwing this in here. I'm trying to segue it, and I'm not doing a very good job. Mae West, if you know who Mae West was, she has some great one-liners. She says, I believe that it's, that it's better to be looked over than it is to be overlooked. Yeah. I believe that it's better to be looked over than it is to be overlooked. And if you know who she is, you can just see her saying that. But, you know, that's the whole thing about having a beard and wearing a nice cap, is that um, you might get looked over. Or you're going to get looked over anyway. People check each other out all the time, size each other up. And, uh, you know, we want to look presentable. We want to look nice. But don't let that acknowledgement make you make a bad decision about your beard trimming. All right? All right. I thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. I've enjoyed it. Um, hit the thanks button if you feel compelled to show your appreciation in a tangible way, or you can donate to this channel by clicking on the PayPal link I provide down below. And uh, I will appreciate that likewise. I hope you have a great day. I hope it looks as nice where you're at as it does here. I know that the background is out of focus because that's the way this is designed to be, but I, I think you can tell it looks beautiful out here right now. All right. I hope I catch you again before Christmas comes, but if I don't, have a Merry Christmas. All right, guys. See you in the next one.